So your father tells me you've been reading a new book? I am. It's about how to make friends. Is that something you're interested in? Not really. But Missy told me it makes you sad that I don't have any. Oh. Gotta sew that girl's mouth shut. So how's it going? Well, the principles in the book didn't work for me at all. Although Dad does like being called George over and over again. So you might give that a try. Baby, you don't have to go to any trouble for me. But I like doing things for you. You're a nice lady. But if the book's not working... It isn't. But I realized if I find the other people who checked out the book, they'd be looking for friends, too. That's really smart. Missy thought of it. You're kidding. I'm as surprised as you are. Excuse me, Ms. Ingram. Sheldon, it's recess. Go outside. See what it's like. Are you by any chance Evelyn Ingram? Yes. The same Evelyn Ingram who checked out this book? And why is that your business? I just assumed you were looking to make a friend. Oh, <laughs> well, that was a long time ago. I just got out of a very difficult relationship. With a friend? Friend. <laughs> I gave that man three years of my life and my innocence. I don't know what that means. It means men are lying dogs only interested in one thing. Well, that's not the dictionary definition. Mm-hmm. Always starts the same. A quick glance across the room, a casual hand on the shoulder, lunch at Stucky's. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all romance and flowers in the beginning. The list proved to be a double-edged sword. It turns out self-help books written in 1936 were only of interest to adults. You're like, I'm here because I care. And by the way, your phone can make calls, too, and tries to turn this whole thing around like it's all about you being needy. And you're like, yes, I have needs. That's what makes me human. Emotionally troubled adults. Child, go outside.